Start with two angles, alpha and beta, both in the interval 0 to pi over 2. Draw a triangle with horizontal base and an altitude that cuts the triangle into pieces with angle alpha and angle beta. Let's suppose that the legs on this triangle are called A and B. The area of this triangle can be determined using the side angle side formula for the area of the triangle and is thus 1 half A times B times the sine of alpha plus beta. Suppose the altitude from the angle alpha plus beta has length Y. This altitude cuts the triangle into two sub-triangles that are both right triangles and both with a side length of Y. According to the left triangle, Y is adjacent to alpha, so Y is equal to A times the cosine of alpha. And in the right triangle, Y is adjacent to beta, so Y is equal to B times the cosine of beta. But the value Y is part of both triangles, so we can use opposite values on opposite triangles like this. Now the original triangle must have area given by the sum of the areas of the two sub-triangles. But these two areas can be computed using the side angle side formula for a triangle again. So we have that one triangle is one half times A times B times the cosine of beta times sine of alpha, and the other one is one half B times A cosine alpha times the sine of beta. We can cancel the one half A times B from both sides of this equation, and that results in the formula sine of alpha plus beta equals the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta plus the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. This is the sign of a sum formula.